If you've ever worked with WAPI, you probably know that after a call, you can actually run analysis on top of your call transcripts to understand what is happening inside of it, to track KPIs, to get summaries, whatever you would like. It is all about analyzing whatever happens inside of the conversation. Now in this video, we're not gonna do any of that, but we're gonna do analysis of function calling. Now you have seen a lot of beginner videos on my channel. This is not one of them. This is more for, I would say the experts in the field or more advanced people that work with WAPI. Cause what we are going to do is we not only want to analyze the actual transcript of the conversation, Session, but we would like to analyze as well whatever the function call brought back during a function call that you use inside of a phone call. So if you don't even know what a function call is, this video is probably not for you and it's not going to be really helpful. So in that case, very sorry, you can check out some other videos on my channel. They are definitely really helpful for beginners or for people that just start out with WAPI, but this one is more advanced. So with that out of the way, Let's dive right into it because what I'm going to show you now is not only theory, I'm also going to give you access to all of the templates and blueprints that you see inside of this video. You can simply download them for free in my resource hub under hub.indigradicus.com. Now, if you worked with tool calling, awesome. Not many people have and the ones that have, they know exactly the same struggles, especially if it comes to building out more complex voice assistants. You know that when you do a function call and let's say it's not an asynchronously one, it's one where you actually get a response back. As you can see here on the WAPI documentation as well, in under tools calling, you can scroll down a little bit and you see a result section. This is usually something that can then be used during the conversation inside of your assistant to enrich it with extra data from an external source that you can feed into the conversation and the assistant has access to it and can use that during the conversation. Now to give you a more precise example, we can for example say when you check the availability of your calendar during a phone call, you would send back in the results either if you have if either the times you have available or when you book a meeting you can send through if the meeting has been booked successfully or if you have any alternative times those kind of things is what you usually send through in the results of a tool call now within my agency we reached many many times the point where we actually need to analyze the tool calls after the conversation so we get out certain details that we can use again to further enrich the conversation or the tracking in CRMs, in POS system, whatever it looks like. And this has actually been a pretty big issue. And this video is my attempt of showing you how you can actually analyze transcripts, including the tool call results, so that you can get better and accurate data, especially if you work with identifiers that you use afterwards inside of transcription or analysis. Now, if what I just said still doesn't fully make sense and you don't exactly grasp what it means, let me give you an example. I have here, for example, a WAPI assistant that I just created, which has only one function included. And basically its main purpose is to tell me which weather it is in a given city. And all it does is it literally just has a tool called right here that is called get current weather. It has a query parameter that just takes the city or the country and basically returns after back to me the current weather of that location. Now, this is the make.com scenario I created for that. This is the one that we basically call during the, during the tool call. And we are leveraging the weather API, which is a simple API request seen here. And all we do is we literally just send through the query and the query is basically the parameter of the function call, which in that case is either the city or the country. And we then get back some information, we transform it and we send this back in the tool call result. So this is very similar to obviously what you have seen inside of the tool calling results here. And to make sure I actually show you what we sent back, this is the kind of stringified response that we send in a more conversational way. So you can say we have current weather, we have the condition, which is the current condition at the location. We have the temperature in Celsius and we have the latitude and longitude. So those values are the ones that we care about. And as you can see here, we have the, the lat long values for internal use only. We have mentioned that so that the AI during the conversation doesn't speak it but we still need it and require it because at the end in our transcripts, our goal is to basically get that information, these two values and send them to an external endpoint where we can track them and do some extra analysis or maybe even connect that, that endpoint or that information to a customer contact or whoever was calling. Now, you know probably that when you make analysis and especially in the WAPI dashboard under the analysis tab, you can get out some KPIs, but it is not always as reliable if it comes to function results, what we have seen or mainly it often doesn't even work because functions itself is a completely different topic and tracking that out is sometimes fairly complex. So what we did is we kind of built our own system, which is what I'm going to share with you today. Now, before I'm actually diving into the system itself, I'm going to show you an example. And this example uh, is going to run through this make.com scenario, which is basically our custom analysis blueprint. Let's call it like that. This is a templatized version that I'm going to provide to you completely for free 
that allows you to do very specific analysis on top of existing data from your transcripts, including the tool results. Now, right within this module over here, we have two variables that are very important, which is the master prompt and the user classification prompt. Master prompt is basically just a definition of whatever the assistant should do. So in that case, it should retrieve the latitude and longitude from the conversation. Now, if you know, the conversation usually is a user double point value, assistant double point value, and system double point value. There's usually nothing included for the function calls because most people don't care about it and for them to analyze it doesn't even make sense. However, if you really work intensely with WAPI, it will definitely become important, especially in the cases I'm showing you now. Now, down here, we have the user classification prompt. This is basically that it should, what it should do. And it says here, answer with the latitude, longitude, as well as the city of the second weather request in the following JSON format. Now, this makes a lot of, this is very, very important to understand. What I'm going to do now is during a conversation, I will, for example, say, what is the weather in London? What is the weather in Russia what is, or in Moscow? What is the weather in Sydney? These kind of things, right? And my goal with this analysis, analysis is to get the latitude and longitude of that second request or second tool call that we made during the conversation. And you can imagine if you try to build it now with the WAPI platform itself, it would be possible, but it is not as reliable. So what we did here is a more reliable version of getting the actual values in a more in a JSON format so that we can reuse it and repurpose it somewhere else later on down the line. And this is basically the, basically the response format we want. So we have city, which is the city name or that we basically just ask you for. We have latitude and longitude. So we have them separated in a JSON and this is what we expect back from this OpenAI call down here. Now to actually show you how it works, I have already scheduled this module so it is running. This basically will just get us back the date and I'm also going to run this one because this is running on the tr call transcript after we actually made the call. So to show you how it works, I'm going to have a phone call now and you can listen to it live on the screen. So all I'm going to do is I head over to the WAPI dashboard and I'm going to click on talk with assistant. Hello, this is Ava. How may I assist you today? Hey Ava, can you please tell me the weather in London? Hold on a sec. The current weather in London is overcast with a temperature of 21.3 degrees C. Is there anything else you would like to know? That's awesome. Can you please also tell me the weather in Sydney? Just a sec. You're welcome. The current weather in Sydney is clear with a temperature of 14.3 degrees Celsius. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Yeah, totally. Um, can you please also tell me the weather in Stockholm? Just a sec. You're welcome. The current weather in Stockholm is sunny with a temperature of 20.1 degrees Celsius. Need anything else? That's it. Thank you. So as you've seen what we did in the phone call now, I, I basically asked it three times for the weather and it basically did three three tool calls during the make to come scenario right here. And now what we do is we basically just waited for this to complete. This is basically an end of call report that you can see here. It fires on basically when the call is over and it contains all of the information that we have just spoken to within the assistant. But as you can see in the transcript itself, you have AI, you have user, AI, user, AI, blah, 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 but it doesn't return you any specific information for the tool calls. So making analysis on top of that is a bit more complex. There are ways, but it's a bit more complex and usually not reliable. Uh, like I said it many times now. So using that is not the best idea. So what we do, we basically use the, each on the separate messages down here that are included in the JSON to reconstruct the whole conversation of the AI between the user and me, including the system prompts and the tool call results. Now, we're gonna use that whole module to basically format that in the format that OpenAI requires for making a chat completion. And all we do then is we basically send it over to OpenAI, we request an answer based on the recreated conversation that we had within WAPI. Now, to make sure this actually makes sense to you, let me go with you through a couple of those modules right here. Because you can see the first one is the system prompt, right? Then down here, we have a bot role. So this is the, the bot saying, hello, this is Ava, how may I assist you today? Here you can say me, hey Ava, can you please tell me the weather in London? And then Ava responds with a tool call. And in this tool call, you can see that it sends the parameters, the functions, and it also returns in the next one down here, the result, which is this one. Awesome, so now we know we have the result in the actual transcript or the end of call report, and we can use that to enrich it inside of the conversation. So I'm not going to guide you through all of the steps. 
the main things I would like you to understand is that this part up here is basically building the system prompt inside of that new JSON that we are calling Convo. So this is basically an array that is created with all of the conversations and messages that we're going to feed into the new AI, OpenAI chat completion. So this creates the master prompt. Then down here, we have the tool called results, which is a very interesting one. And I'm gonna show you how it looks at the end. Here we have the message. So we basically just loop through them and we append them to the new conversation. And down here, we're gonna add the last part, which is the action assistant message, which we basically just defined here. So this is basically the one that we define as a next step, right? Based on the, I think it's a user message. So the user basically just sends back that message, classify that as that, blah, blah, blah. And then we are getting back this. And I'm going to show you how awesome this looks like. If I go to results, you can see it sends back Sydney, latitude and longitude of the actual second, of the second tool call that we made. Now, if you remember, and this is also what we see up here, inside of our conversation, the first tool call we made right here in four is for, what was it, London. Then we have the answer. Then I say again something. I say, oh no, this is the AI basically answering. Down here, I have the next uh, tool call result. And you can see here, it is for, this was for Sydney. You can see that in the tool calls parameters, which is right here. And in Sydney, you can see that as a response, we have clear, we have 14 degrees, and you can see also the lat long, which is minus 33.88, 151.22. Now, if we compare this with a two call result right here, minus 33.88151.22. So we get the exact values back directly tailored to the conversation. And this is really incredibly powerful because we can go back in the conversation and we can extract certain details from the tool call that we made that we can then leverage again in the ongoing conversations to make more manipulations, to send information somewhere. And trust me, this is just a basic example, but it can get more complex than that by using certain identifiers. If you want to update information, if you want to retrieve more details about something during the, the second call, for example, that happens, etc. There are tons of possibilities there. And this is an incredibly, incredibly powerful feature that if you're really serious about WAPI assistance, you definitely want to leverage something like this. Now, like I said, I'm going to provide you this template completely for free inside of my resource hub. And you can just download it, use it for your own business, for your clients, whatever that looks like. I really, really hope you get a better understanding now or have a better understanding now of what this analysis does differently to the actual one inside of Vapi. Because this, just again for confirmation, is only for, or it's mainly for text. But if you want to really enrich information based on the results that you get from within your tool call, you want to use something like this to create a custom conversation and send that over to OpenAI to do a chat completion and get the values that you would actually like to have in an ongoing phase. Now, the last thing I would like to mention in this request here in the tool callback, which is the function call or the tool call, we are going to make a, or we are making a request to the weather API, which is a platform that gives you, I think like around a million requests per month completely for free. So you can try that out yourself. You can simply create an account there, head over to the Swagger documentation. This is their API endpoint. This is basically the one as well that we use inside of the module here. And then down here you have slash current JSON, which is their endpoint. And in the endpoint, all you do is you require the Q parameter, which stands for query. And you just feed in uh, London or New York or whatever that looks like, right? You just validate that based on your tool call. So yeah, both of the scenarios are yours now. You can download them. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you'd like to see more of those complex kind of scenarios where I really go in depth into Bapi and explain you the things on a very granular level, feel free to drop me a message or a comment below under this video. Would really appreciate it. Thanks for watching and see you next time.